Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So if you could see that on the euro currency in particular on the British pound that we discussed today, some downside action has really started, gold market behaves a bit differently. So yes, we've got the retracement, but it's controllable retracement and we talked about this yesterday in update. So we said uh, watch also for 24.9 area, where it might be the just normal common uh, starting point of the right wing of the butterfly appear that we have on actually on the from chart in particular this stop has been formed so that's why on the daily chart currently we have nothing to change we have this grubber maybe right now stands on the question because this close is stands very close to the lows of this previous session but this grubber stands intact market stands normal retracement to 127 extension coiling around it so currently it's difficult, to, uh, it's, it's early to say that this is uh, well, the end of the Polish context and market will be ready for deep downside action. Besides, if you take a look at 10 year bonds, you could see that uh, on the 10 year bonds, we do not have any big jump on the yield. So yield mostly stands the same today, even it's turning to the downside, which is supportive to the gold market. And well, brings no, no shadow on the bullish context by far. So, yes, of course, we would like to see some faster upper continuation and earlier end of the retracement, but we have what we have. Market stands uh, in a tight range, but it doesn't show any significant downside action. That's why I would say that overall bullish context still stands intact. On the fallout time frame chart, that's now our butterfly. Yesterday, when this pattern has been formed, when the grubber um, has reached only the minimum target so we talked about this yesterday in the video we said that most it seems that market will still still form the normal shape of the butterfly when the bottom on the right wing will be around 618 support it's very often happens uh, and we have considered few options few scenarios how you could take the long position if you would like to uh, the most simple way was to split position take position in part conservative approach we said wait for it 6.8 support before our prediction. Uh, so currently at this point, uh, the preparation that we could do, we already done. Just because on the hourly charts, take a look. This market has completed this AB3 patch to the downside. This is uh, the support area that we discussed. Uh, and we talked about this as a next area for taking long position. Our prediction from this area already has started. So here's also you could recognize a kind of hand or something. It's not very clear, but uh, some kind of shape of the hand could be recognized. So and at this point, this is the actually final check for this passion because everything already has been done, has been prepared. Market stands in our prediction with this butterfly. And with this butterfly, it has to keep going higher. If this will not happen in market by somehow return it back down, breaking it down, down uh, this support area and return back to the lows and validation point of the butterfly. It means that probably we, the short term bullish scenario for now is completed and we should be prepared for increasing of the scale of the market swings. It means that we will get deeper downside retracement. And after that, we should be ready for some upper continuation but from the lowest ending levels that's what we have currently on the table so uh, today we will be watching for personal consumption expenditures tomorrow we will be watching for inflation in the european union and see what will happen with this butterfly because what we could do with this passion we already have done so no additional action from us uh, is needed so just uh, see what will happen move up to the break evens and just watch what will happen so if it will fail in this case we should be ready for a deep retracement and it's probably we'll get some setups and lower levels uh, before gold will keep going higher